Jared Poland, Photo.com, and this is your Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by Canon inkjet printers who are sponsoring my 365 print giveaway in 2019. That's right, I'm giving away 365 signed and numbered prints this year, which were all printed on the Canon Pro 1000 inkjet printer. So far, I've sent out 125 free prints and in the next week, I'll be sending out 100 more. For your chance to get one of these prints for free, head on over to fronosphoto.com slash fro365. First up, we all know the worst part about street photography are the people, right? Well, actually, no, that's not right. The people are the important thing in street photography. The public sucks. Nonetheless, an artist by the name of Damn Jansky created an app called Bye Bye Camera. Basically what it does is it directs you on what to do when you want to say bye bye to your camera. Step one, open the window. Step two, toss the camera out onto the street and say bye bye bye. bye, bye. Don't wanna be a fool for you. Wait, that's not right. What, my dancing? Oh no, that, that's not actually what the app does. The app is designed to take out the vanity of any selfie and also the person. Now, since the app makes that claim, I decided to spend the $2.99, and by spend, I actually mean waste some money to see if it actually works. So here's the selfie that I took inside the app, and here's the result. Nailed it! Where did I go? I'm not, e I'm not even there. That, that's, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> Now, Steven, let's try one with me standing right here on the set and see what happens. Oh, wow, it actually got rid of me, so it's not super bad. But anyway, it seems that the only thing this app might be good for is saying bye-bye to $2.99. Next up, Leica has unveiled an entry-level M rangefinder camera called the M-E, and I can only assume that the E stands for entry. <laughs> Yeah. Leica says, the moment in which you decide to purchase a Leica M changes your view of the world. Yeah, it makes you a douchebag. And making the choice has never been easier. It doesn't actually make you a douchebag, but some people that shoot Leicas are definitely douchebags. Become the proud owner of the new Leica M-E, benefit from its exceptionally favorable retail price, and use this opportunity to join the family of M photographers. Now, usually when you think of entry-level camera, you think of affordable right? The price is wrong, bitch. Well, Leica must feel that lubing the price to $4,000 will help you ease your way into the Leica rangefinder ecosystem. Hey, Steven, I, I guess it's kind of like because You start with the small one before you graduate to the big one. You'd know. Nonetheless, this camera's packing a 24 megapixel full frame sensor with a two gigabyte buffer, like a Maestro processor, and a terrible ISO range of 200 to 6400. Now don't forget this camera doesn't come with a lens, so you're gonna need to drop a couple more thousand bucks in order to even take pictures with your super expensive entry level camera. It's kind of like going with your Mercedes Benz E-Class, Steven. <laughs> But hey, if your goal is to look cool, get this camera and wear it as an accessory without a lens. Because in your Instagram photos, you're gonna be amazing. So who's this camera for? Obviously, it's for pre-med students as well as bros studying to become lawyers, of course. Captain, my captain. Duh. Thanks, Leica, for allowing us all to ease yeah, putting this in my into your ecosystem. And finally, last week we had news about Nikon confirming a full-frame D5-like mirrorless camera is in the works and Canon must have felt left out. Kind of like me some nights when I'm sitting at home wondering, why am I all alone? Canon Rumors has posted that Canon's 1DX Mark II equivalent mirrorless camera is coming sooner than originally thought. Now let me point this out right now. This is a rumor and should be taken with only one or two grains of salt. But nonetheless, it's fun to speculate. Canon Rumors was told that Canon has accelerated development of the pro-level EOS R camera, and they're not talking about the high-resolution model. They're saying the camera will be along the lines of a mirrorless version of the 1DX Mark II, or possibly the non-existent 1DX Mark III. And in even stranger news, their source mentioned that it's possible that the mirrorless camera might be announced at the same time as the 1DX Mark III. Does anyone else call bullshit on this? 
bullshit. Because that makes absolutely no sense to release a high-end DSLR and a copycat version of its mirrorless brother at the same exact time. Hold on, what, what's that, Steven? We, we actually have a video from the source? Yes, I'm the source. My name's Nilab Garage, and Canon's going to release two pro cameras at the same time. <laughs> it's true. I'm not laughing. You're laughing. <laughs> Well, he seems like a trustworthy guy for sure. I mean, I'd invite him over for dinner. Now, I'm just gonna say this. If Canon actually does release those two cameras at once, I will cut a hair off of my head. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. Jared, polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.